dear students namaste and welcome to you all in the class today how are you dear all good i am also quite fine so what what are we doing today can you guess okay we are going to complete unit 10 that is the earth and space and which items are left can you tell me yes grammar 2 and writing 2 so you can see here as well we are going to discuss grammar 2 and writing 2 at the beginning we'll do grammar 2 let's begin but before that what grammar item did we discuss in our previous class that means grammar first can you tell me okay very good preposition okay of place that's quite fine good so what were they okay good on next in and repeat that once okay very good at so we discussed three prepositions in our previous class that means of grammar one okay in relation to place but now we're going to discuss something different but prepositions but not only this okay we are going to add more okay shall we begin okay so let's start with the task okay are you ready to do that okay let's read some sentences okay start the given sentences and notice the highlighted words okay so there is no highlight is there yes let's read the sentences first and i will highlight okay and then we'll discuss what exactly we are going to discuss the first sentence in a is i'm afraid we have run out of apple juice b as an excuse of being late she made up a whole story c fill in the forms with the details please d would you mind if i switch off the tv i want to study e because of the heavy rainfall they could not come here and last one in f is the music is too loud could you please turn down the volume a little so these are the sentences now i'm going to highlight them okay let's see the first one is run out in the next sentence can you guess which part i'm going to highlight okay good made up in the third sentence in c mm, please repeat that yes fill in d switch off very good next because of and last one okay very good dear students tone down look every words there are two words in every highlighted parts okay for example run out made up fill in switch off because of torn down so the second word in every highlighted set of words is yes they are prepositions now today we are going to discuss something different not those single prepositions that we practiced in our previous grammar section okay so now these sort of prepositions are also there they are called yes phrasal verbs okay phrasal prepositions i say they are called so very often they are they come up with some let's say they, they have fixed status okay some of they must come with some of words for example because this of should be there with because okay in this way they come so this sort of exercise is there in your activity now so for this you can go to page number 129 of your textbook grammar second okay so don't worry about turning your book now okay because here is the because i have the exercise for you let's see a complete the sentences with correct prepositions from the brackets so these prepositions are highlighted there there are sentences 
and blank space is two we have to fill in with these words okay suitable preposition so which word or preposition with to at should be there with this word do do the dot, dot, dot a traffic jam we are late today what should be there do with do to do at ah no sorry dear you have made a wrong guess there should be to do to okay so this is this functions as a conjunction there number so next sentence in B is, I'm sorry, you are not eligible dot, 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 admission to this course. So you have to write a suitable preposition in relation to this word eligible. Means qualified, don't worry, its meaning is qualified. You are not eligible. Eligible with, eligible for, eligible of. What do you think? Which should be there? Ah, very good, eligible for admission to this course look she's playing the dot, dot her young son in number in next c sentence number c uh, look she is playing ah very good with with her young son d the district administration the district administration office is interested that that maintain law and order in the city to with of okay you can guess in that way as well okay you told me to yes mm, very good because you saw the verb there maintain good interested to maintain there must be a an infinitive verb after Okay, to maintain law and order in the city. Very good, dear students. Next sentence in E. He is envious the dot dot his rich neighbor with envious with envious of or envious of. Okay, very good. Of should be there. Envious of. F. He became estranged. Do you know the meaning of this word? No? To be far away from family members. Okay? To be far away from your kith and kin family members particularly. He became estranged with, strange from, strange of his family after the argument. He had an argument. He left his family. This means. So what do you think? We should be there. Okay, very good. Stranged from. Don't write off. Okay, so this is called fixed preposition as well. You have to write the same preposition, otherwise it's a mistake. Next, in G, you had no excuse of, excuse for, excuse to, misbehaving with the clerk. And your guess? Okay, two? No, that's not the correct answer. The answer is excuse for misbehaving. Excuse for my mistake. Okay, if you do something wrong, we can excuse for your mistakes. H, I'm quite familiar. Ah, somebody said? Yes, with. I'm quite familiar with her. This is quite a usual term. I, she was brought, uh huh, repeat that once. Okay, brought in, no, brought up by her grandmother. So, brought up, okay, should be there. Last sentence in J is Gopal left home because he did not want to abide dot, 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 his father's wishes. Abide to, abide with, abide by his father's wishes. What should be there? Ah, by to? No, dear students, that's a wrong guess. Okay, abide by. So, dear students, 
here are let's say different expressions for example I have copied one here okay so what we discussed is phrasal prepositions okay so when you analyze the meaning literally by let's say analyzing the meaning of the words there you will not come to the conclusion that means you might be let's say get something else than the intended meaning for example this is the simple past form of the verb bring got it and op is there as preposition so if you analyze literal meaning of these words okay the meaning of the entire proposition brought up means to bring up to rear okay r e a r e d rear feed care and make somebody grow okay because she might be for example an orphan she lost her fam parents and then she was reared up by her grandmother got it so put plus on okay i put on my clothes so present preposition put and on so if you analyze put and on differently then the meaning of where cannot be achieved this means i wear or wore my clothes in this way you have to let's say guess the meaning of these prepositions okay so they are fixed set of prepositions following certain words which you have to let's say use repeatedly to get them accustomed or you have to have practice okay to learn them clear okay i guess you have clear ideas okay dear students let's move to another activity here you have to choose and circle the correct prepositions in brackets given in brackets in the paragraphs below okay there are two paragraphs and only two options are there what you do is you have to circle the correct answer for example in or at might be there and if you find in is the correct answer you have to do this one got it which you think is correct one you have to just circle it and rewrite it okay first rewrite the paragraph with the alternatives and go on circling the correct answers for example let's do it together or do you want to do it yourself okay very good please do it now have you completed wonderful dear students let's discuss then mr pandey arrived in kathmandu on in may 10 at on eight o'clock in on the evening let's discuss preposition first one that comes up with may 10 what should be there in or on yes on should be there why because if you mention the particular date or day you write on in may on may 10 okay on should be there good at or on eight o'clock what do you think again yes if you write a specific time you have to write or use at okay at eight o'clock that's correct answer good and next is on or in yes in the evening okay certain time period okay before the parts of the day you use He decided to call his uncle who lived on or in Bhaktapur. Remember, we discussed when there is place, bigger, larger area, we use on or in? Yes, in Bhaktapur. Very good. He got on a bus at of the station and paid the fare to for the conductor. But I think he got on a bus of the station no at should be there okay at the station when you talk about vehicle and their movements okay stations particularly 
okay, railway station, bus station, etc. You have to use at. At the station and paid the fare okay, to the conductor. Very good. The bus was very crowded, so Mr. Pandey had to stand up all the way. Next paragraph. When he reached Timmy, Mr. Pandey got off the bus and walked a short distance into the house. Short distance from one position, this position to that position. Okay, from this to that. What should be there? Two. Okay, distance to the house where his uncle lived. He knocked in the door or at the door. Please repeat that. Okay, very good. Knocked at the door. Okay, like this. Okay, door. Then off or on his uncle's house? Yes, off his uncle's house. This is also called off possession. Okay, off should be there. Uncle's door off uncle's house. Okay. He waited for or during few minutes. Ah, very good. For should be there for a few minutes. During can be used when there is, for example, vacation like thing or time period when you do have something. For example, during the train, during Easter, during weekends. Okay. So here, short time period is there. That's why you have to use for very good. But no one came to the door or at the door. Yes, at the door. He was disappointed to find no one to at home. What should be there? Yes, at home is the correct option. He saw a bench at to the corner of the porch. So at or to the corner? Yes, particular specific point. Yes, corner. And answer is to no. At, definitely at the corner of the purse and he sat down in on to wait for his uncle she, he sat down in it means in a bench or on a bench here it means a bench okay you shall bend there and he sat down yes on the surface not in okay that's why on should be there well done, dear student. This is all about grammar second. Let's discuss writing two now. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Let's begin now. Look, I have something for you. So it says, Jew codes of conduct. Read them out now. What is the first one? Do not feed the animals. Second one, do not disturb, torment or joke with animals. Third one, do not litter. Don't you know litter? Throw garbage here and there. Okay, litter. Consumption, consumption of alcohol and smoking is strictly prohibited inside the zoo. Next. Consumption of alcohol and smoking is strictly prohibited inside the zoo. Next, use of plastic bag is banned inside the zoo. Plastic bag, you cannot bring plastic bag inside the zoo. Domestic animals, what are they? For example, your dog, cat, etc. are not allowed inside the zoo. You cannot bring your pets. Loud music is not allowed inside the zoo. This is the last one. Can you guess what are they? Definitely, they are the zoo codes of conduct that I have already told you. And can you guess where I have taken these from? Yes, from the rules or codes of conduct of the central zoo, which is in Kathmandu Valley. Okay. So if you go to Jaulak Hill, you can see central zoo there, okay. There, inside the zoo, this board, notice board is there. And I clicked this photo myself and brought it for you. 
So now, can you tell me what writing item we are going to discuss now? Yes, definitely. We are going to discuss writing rules and regulations. So, in our daily lives, we might be asked to write rules. In our exams, we need to face such questions as well. That's why it's better that we know good ideas how we write rules. Let's begin with the task. Okay, writing to write a set of rules and regulations for the visitors in a park. Where? In a park. Suppose you are going to a park to, vi to visit, to roam here and there, okay? You want to spend some time, okay, in a park and you need to follow certain guidelines there, don't you? Yes. But there are clues, use the expressions given below. Dot 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 is are not allowed to. Dot 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 is strictly prohibited, forbidden to. Dot 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 can or cannot. Dot 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 is are required, expected to. Dot 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 must, must not, etc, etc. So can you fill in the first gap, for example, using this one? Okay, very good. Let's write one, okay? So remember the last, let's say, rule that we have just discussed. Okay, for example, uh, first one, okay, this one is R plus dot 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 not allowed to. Visitors, suppose, are not allowed to bring their pets. Okay, so there are two options, is and R. Since our subject is visitors, plural, okay, we have to use are there. Visitors are, okay, not is there in bracket, okay, not allowed to. So after this one, you have to write an infinitive form of the verb, base form of the verb, because there is two, okay. So visitors are not allowed to bring their pets in the Zoo, suppose. In this way, suppose you are going to write something about park. Okay. You can write using these structures. Let's see how you have to write. Okay. Okay, dear students, here are some of the tips that you can use while writing rules. Okay. So I have enlisted them as basic considerations. The first one is read the given question and clues carefully. Very often you are given clues, okay. So before I have presented different structures like are allowed to or something like that. Broadly think of the ideas or rules to be included, it means incorporated and use different structures to write. For example, don't just begin with do this, do that, do, don't do this, don't do that, something like that. Use different sorts of structures. I'll show you some examples, don't worry. Write the rules in points or bullets. Write complete sentences because clues are already there with you. Passive sentences are highly preferred in writing rules and regulations. Okay, you can use passive sentences. Last one is you can use present or future tenses. We don't write rules in past tenses. Clear? Okay, let's see one example of the same thing. The first one is visitors are not allowed to enter the park without any entry tickets okay is are not allowed to okay enter the park without entry tickets smoking is strictly prohibited in the park look the structures are different aren't they children under the age of six must be supervised by their parents or guardians next is vehicles must be parked at the specified place though there are repeated structures, ideas are different, aren't they? Don't throw rubbish here and there, means you have to throw rubbish or else you can write throw the rubbish in designated place as well, in dustbin for example. No trespassing in the garden, means enter without permission, 
You don't, you can't, in, can't enter the park here and there, wherever you want, okay? Trespassing. Tathabhavi Gosnu. Plucking flowers, leaves, etc. will not be enjoyed. You cannot pluck flowers and or leaves in any condition. So you, these two can be, let's say, switched. Or you can write any one, plucking flowers or leaves as well. So these are set of rules. You can think of many other ideas. Okay. So dear students, with this discussion, I think you have clear ideas about what sorts of structures you are going to use. Okay, let's discuss them. Sentence structures that can be used in writing rules. First one is subject is or are not allowed to, not permitted to, supposed to, plus base form of the verb. Okay, to bring your vehicle, suppose. V-I-N-G is R is strictly prohibited. For example, smoking is strictly prohibited. V-I-N-G. Next, subject plus must be plus past participle. Okay. So, we have already discussed these structures. Don't plus infinitive don't leave your children unattended okay in this way you can write no plus ving no trespassing suppose in the garden subject plus is or are banned prescribed means controlled stopped from ving subject must can plus infinitive and last one it is restricted prohibited forbidden to plus infinitive. So, these are some of the rules. Please try writing rules following these set of structures. Will you do that? Okay. Let's move to an activity. This is a task for you because we have already learned one given in your book. Okay. So, write a set of rules to be followed in a library. Use the given clues. In this way, you will be asked. Okay. The exercise will be like this. Write a set of rules to be followed in a library. So, use these clues. For example, what can you write? Next is, I will come to, I will give you one example again. Library car, silence, photocopying books and other materials. Next point is reading books in the library, bringing backs in and books safety. So, let us make one. Okay, rest of the things will be done okay, by my dear students. Okay, I guess so. So, library car. Okay, for example, you can address like you, okay, you should or better write must, you must have a library car to borrow books. In this way, you have to write to your students. Did you get my point or not? So, library car will be given to you as a clue, but you have to elaborate it in a complete sentence following the structure. And don't forget to give numbers, okay, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, whatever is suitable for you, okay. Silence should be maintained when you are in library, suppose. So, will you write? Okay, please make a list of the rules and show them to your teacher. Next activity is for, activity is, again there is one, but it is a little bit different, okay. Write a set of rules to be followed in an examination hall. Use the given clues. Again, same type of activity. Enter the hall before 15 minutes. Keep silent. Bringing books, sheets, notes. Are they allowed or not? Think about that. Taking, sorry, talking to each other. Going out of, out of the hall before the first bell rings. Are you allowed or not? Raise hand to speak. For example, you need extra paper, you need to have, let's say, stitch to your paper or something like that, okay. You have to raise your hand. So, these are the guidelines. And next task is, for you is, you have to write rules and regulations to be followed in a museum. So, I have given one example of, yes, the Jew, okay. Similarly, you have to write about museum, hospital, school, okay. So, while writing, you have to think about what you are supposed to do. 
what you can't do what is punishable by law if you do for example uh, using indecent language in school premises will be punishable by law you cannot scold somebody you can use abusive language to your friends okay so that cannot be done if you do you will get punished so in this way what are the things allowed what are the things that are not allowed what you can do what you can't do what you do will get you to be punished etc okay think about that think about various ideas and write set of rules okay these three tasks okay are your tasks write them show them to your teacher okay okay dear students this is what about writing too now i'll do a little bit of discussion related to project work and extra bit as well the project work is what is space tourism source and collect information about space tourism make a short presentation in a small group what do you think what is tourism yes tourism is visiting different places for different purposes for example that might be entertainment passing time etc etc research story etc but here is a term space tourism people go to space moon for example as tourist do you believe okay definitely there are some cases that some people okay they have already been there so i have uh, some ideas please go through internet or other sources find more information and make a good presentation and okay present them in the class okay so i have one for you space tourism is their recreational entertainment okay related to entertainment space travel Denis Chito was the first space tourist from Russian space agency who went there in 2001, April 28. There are different private agencies that can help those who want to. Now, at present, there are many other agencies. This was the first time. Extremely expensive. You have to pay much. Even if you want to go there, you have to be very rich. Only very few people can do it. Though many want, but very few people can do it so these are just guidelines okay please find more and write the stuff yourself okay let's discuss short about the extra bit activity given there account writing is given there writing account it is an it is a technique of reporting or describing something okay or even your experience you have experienced something and if you describe your experience this is this becomes an account writing but we have to follow certain structure it comprises events means it has events and facts includes events and facts in an order which leads readers to reach a conclusion format heading should be there it addresses the audience and purpose introduction you have to mention your purpose of writing why you are writing you can add some background information to to make your writing concrete you can add some information as background information for example how this happened for example there was an accident but there might be something that compelled the accident to take place next is body where you have to describe detail okay and if there are more than one issues you have to address them in separate paragraphs I said there can be more than one paragraphs and finally you have to give a conclusion in this part you have to restate the purpose of writing but you don't repeat the same information write a bit differently using different words sometimes it might contain a thesis statement last one is closing here you have to write your name and date as well or you can just sign put your sign there so this is the overall structure do you think about uh, let's say an account shall I present one okay so please read it read the question first question is during break time you witnessed a noisy argument between your friends while queuing for food and the principal wants you to address the incident by writing an account write an account of the incident based on the following guidelines there are questions sorry guidelines there are guidelines the date of the event and the name of the students how the incident happened how the incident settled at that time 
and here is a model for you please read it yourself this is just a model and you might get some ideas okay you have already got some ideas how to write and these are how you have to organize the information so you have to write the heading an account of the misconduct of students at the canteen and these these are the details okay please go through them and this is the end i have highlighted everything this is the concluding paragraph okay and i strongly believe that this is my thesis okay i strongly believe that school should be a zone of peace written by swami natamang this is just an example you can write your name school captain 4th january 2023 dear students this is all what we have done today i think you have enjoyed the lesson we have practiced writing sorry using prepositions okay and we have practiced writing rules and regulations as well as writing accounts so hope you have hope this lesson has become fruitful to you all thank you very much for your active participation we'll meet again in the next episode till then goodbye and namaste